Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, pretty much I am just going to sum up this video. It's been a couple of days since I filmed the first half of the footage that was included in this vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now that my other roommates have moved out. Kind of what my room looks like now. There are just two of us in here, me and one other roommate who just came in on this rotation as well. And we'll be the only ones in here until probably maybe January-ish, April-ish, depending on um, what new rotations come in and how many people need rooms. But I'll show you how we have our stuff set up, just in case any of you are curious, interested, maybe, you know, you want to see what deployment living is like. I'm about to show you. So when you walk into the front door, this is just what it looks like right here. This is our door, and these doors are heavy as hell. Um, that is a trash can, pretty self-explanatory. So these are wall lockers and these are what they give us to put our belongings in. That is my cell phone and my coffee over there. And this is the front half of the room. So when I first moved in, I was over here in this bed because these beds over here were all full. I did have three other roommates, like I said before, but they have left. So this bunk right here, that's suitable for two people, empty. Same thing over here, suitable for two people, empty. All of these wall lockers right here are empty on this side, this side as well, and so are these drawers right here. So if me or my roommate wanted to use them, we could. Um, I don't need them, so they're gonna stay over here. I'm not gonna show you her side of the room, but I will show you this little area, so that's where she is. Over here, she's not in the room right now, she's at work, but this is what her side of the room kind of look like, or like how you would get to it, or if you're wondering just like how close we are, this is the amount of space between us, and if I wanted to, I could always move up here, or whatever the case may be, we both like where we are, so we're going to stay there. We do have these little curtains, which I showed you last time. So when we are changing or we just want privacy, typically at night when we're getting ready to go to bed, we both have these on each side and we put them up. Pretty simple. Now when I open this, this is what my section of this cubby looks like. So this is my little space. Um, as you can see, like I said, deploy but keep it girly. Deploy but keep it girly, okay? Deployment doesn't have to be um, this horrible, awful thing. You know, have fun. Um, I brought stuff that was lively in color, that reminded me of home, that reminded me of who I am as an individual outside of the military, and I really feel like that is helping me enjoy this little space that I get to call home for the next six months, so this is what it looks like. Pretty simple, it's a little cubicle. <laughs> but it's my little cubicle. I have my blanket, my comforter, everything set up over here, my computer, uh, my toiletries, bottles of water, because of course, uh, you cannot drink the water here. A little picture of my boyfriend. I plan on putting like a calendar up and just other pictures of my family once I get some more. This is my one wall locker where I keep all my uniforms stored. So that's that. Um, that's my weapon. It's only out right now because I just came in and I'm about to leave out again. Otherwise, it would be locked up. A chair that I put my book bag on. An air conditioner that barely works. Like I said, this was already here, so I'm not taking it down because it does the job. It blocks out all the light in the daytime. Um, there's a mirror and a fan. So, yeah, that's my little cubby. My drawers that house the rest of my clothing inside my wall locker. This is my setup. This is normally where I store my weapon um, with my lock, an extra book bag, my laundry bag, and just extra toiletries that I don't include in my shower caddy. That's over there. All of my excess luggage is stored under here. Those are my shower shoes on the ground. And if I want extra, extra privacy or it's just a little too bright in here or whatever the case may be, I just pull this. And it like blocks my bed. So I did a really horrible job right now because I'm doing it with one hand, but those little clips on the end I kind of like hang it up a little bit more so it's like straight across and yeah it's like a little cubby over there so so yeah so that is my room tour this is what my 
little home will be and will look like for the next six months. Um, I'll probably come back halfway through the rotation to show you guys if I did put up any um, pictures or, you know, changed anything out. Anything interesting that I think I can do with this space or if we rearrange it, which we were thinking about doing, like moving the wall lockers, the excess wall lockers somewhere else. I'll show you guys that too, just in case you want some ideas of how to set up your dorm. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye-bye.